Hi, I'm Victoria DeMar here for BMovieMan.com with the incredible Paris Randall. Thank you so much for being with us here today. It's a pleasure always to talk to a lovely lady like yourself, Victoria. Thank you so much. Now, is this your first time to appear at the Texas Frightmare Weekend? Oh, wow. No, actually, uh, I've been uh, to every one of the Texas Frightmare Weekends since the inaugural event back in 2006. Actually, I've seen this thing grow exponentially every year. Uh, it's kind of, you know, grown right, uh, right I don't know, it's, it's, the growth of the event itself has been uh, simultaneous to the explosion of uh, independent horror filmmaking in Texas, so it's, it's really a cool thing. Absolutely, I have to say you are a fan favorite here in Texas, would you concur? <laughs> well, you know, I, and that's such a kind thing for you to say, and, and I really, truly, I have to say that I appreciate so much, and I'm humbled by the support and the kind words and and uh, and and the, and the wonderful people that 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 enjoy the films and they come up and they say to me they enjoy the work. I mean, for an actor, that's the most humbling thing that that you can experience because we do what we do for the viewers, the people who watch the movies. And when they come up and they tell you that they liked your work. That's what it's all about, you know. It is. I would say that the horror films are the most genre loyal fans, I think, of any genre within cinema. Would you agree? I agree. You know, uh, I say often in a number of interviews that, you know, we don't see conventions for, say, drama films. You don't see chick flick conventions, comedy conventions. Yes, there are sci-fi conventions and there are horror conventions. The horror fans are global. Yep. They are super loyal they support their genre of film, their favorite genre of film, and the people who make those films. And as I view it, as a, I'm lucky enough to be a part of the creation of a few of those films, and it's up to us, those given that opportunity to do that, because we're supported by the fans, to never let them down. We got to give the viewers, the audience, the fans of horror cinema, everything they want and more, you know? And I mean, in front of the camera, on the screen, but also at conventions like this. It's like I tell my wife, I'm here to meet the fans, enjoy talking to them. I enjoy meeting and talking to them more than they will ever enjoy meeting and talking to me, to be honest. I, I mean, that may sound, you know, I don't know, how I, that may sound silly, but no, no. I am honored, more honored to meet them and in awe of the fact that they even want to meet me, okay, than they can ever know they could ever imagine um, but it's it is in my opinion if you're lucky enough to be supported by people so that you as an actor can have your career in film it is your place to be here for the fans to appreciate them to embrace them right back when they embrace you and I'm gonna talk to every fan I'm gonna I'm gonna sign every movie or poster giveaway pictures I don't care if it goes on for 10, 12 hours a day. Until every fan is satisfied, my ass is right here, you know? Well, that's awesome. Your loyalty and your passion drives your fan base. That's completely clear. That's awesome. I think, truthfully, that, uh, you know, again, it is, again, the fans that give you the opportunity to have a career in film. And if, indeed, you know, you don't appreciate that, then uh, you don't deserve to have that career. I think if you're given success in, in this arena, Again, it's because of that patronage that uh, the viewers provide you with. Absolutely. And if you don't appreciate it, you don't deserve the success. Well, you certainly deserve all your success and more. Do you want to talk a little bit about Possum Walk and Jacob that you have here today? Absolutely. You know, uh, fans have been awaiting this film. Uh, I play Brother William, all right, a reverend minister uh, in a small Texas town who's got a few loose screws, naturally. I mean, I played him. What do you expect, right? <laughs> Uh, but the fans have been waiting for Possum Walk. I mean, I can't tell you how many uh, feverish kind of letters I've gotten. We can't wait to see this film. So, so Horrorfile Entertainment has made uh, 100 copies available, wonderful. advanced copies here at Texas Frightmare Weekend 212. Uh -huh. Another film that I'm really excited about having done is Jacob. Uh, Jacob, uh, a film directed by Larry Carell. Uh, actually, I said his name wrong. I'm going to say it again. Larry Carroll. But uh, it's spelled Carell. I still maintain. I'm saying it right. He just doesn't know his own name. <laughs> but uh, the film also features, uh, obviously, Mr. James Hampton, 
All right, from Teen Wolf and any number of films, Michael Biehn of Terminator, uh, a number of other films uh, as well, uh, Jennifer Blanc Biehn, uh, Michael's lovely wife, and Dylan Horn and Kristen Caldwell and Grace Powell and so many other great Texas talents that it was an honor for me to work with. Um, the film is a little bit of a slasher film with a whole lot of a Stephen King feel and twist. So when I read the script and talked to Larry about it, I knew I wanted to do that film, okay? And I got to say hats off to Larry. He got behind this product, he and Stacy Davidson with Odyssey Pictures. And they said, you know, we've got this film and we're gonna make it the best film we can. In the beginning, it was a smaller project, but they worked their butts off behind the scenes, so much so that they were able to take what was initially a smaller project gain the interest of people who had the resources to make it a bigger project, okay? It grew, and, uh, and that's what Texas Film or Indie Film Anywhere is all about. People with passion, passion to say, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it with what we've got, and through the passion that we put into it, we're gonna try to make it better, and better than what, what anybody can expect, okay? That's it. I mean, you've got to love what you do and bring it your all. And, and believe it or not, through that passion, oftentimes something evolves into something larger than you ever imagined. Absolutely. You are so passionate. I'm getting all fired up over here. I just can't wait to see Jacob, which I believe is screening this weekend here at the Texas Frightmare Weekend, tomorrow evening. Is that correct? It is. It's screening at 10 p.m. Uh, after the film, there will be a Q&A panel. I'll be on the panel, and uh, Michael and Jennifer, Larry, all the, all the Jacob folks, and uh, we'll be there to take, uh, take the questions from the audience and give the answers and hopefully uh, be, uh, be entertaining, you know, and uh, show up to see the movie, and you can see who survives and what, if anything, is left of me, you know. That sounds awesome. Maybe a Jacob number two starring uh, Paris Randall? Well, you got to see the film. I think when you see the film, uh, I think it will provide the answer as to whether or not I could come back for a sequel, okay? Uh, I will tell you there is about to be a sequel to what was my first, uh, well, the first film in which I had a principal role. I played Blythe Remington in the original Quick and the Undead. Wonderful. And uh, the folks, Jerry Knott, Clint Glenn, Knott Entertainment, they've contacted me, we've talked, and uh, we're going to be doing a, uh, a sequel to Quick and the Undead. And... Uh, Quick and the Undead Part 2 is the name of it, and believe it or not, even though uh, my character, the, the bad guy, Blythe, is killed in the first one, they've come up with a, uh, a pretty cool way of bringing him back. So I'm going to be back to, to wreak more hell and havoc in the old west, you know, amongst all the gut-munching zombies. Awesome. I wouldn't want to have it any other way. Is there anything else that you're uh, working on coming up that you'd like to talk about? To do a film uh, called Steel Hearts. Nice. Okay. Uh, be working with Megan Sacco. Uh, it is a film, without giving too much away, uh, about a group of women that uh, they get fed up with, uh, with the way the judicial system is allowing so many, so many abusive men to get away with literally murder when it comes to women. Wow. And so you get a group of women here who decide to take, take the law into their own hands female vigilante justice and I play a really bad guy named Ken who basically uh, he gets everything he deserves at the hands of these women and more but hey these are the kind of films I like I love films that depict strong women okay I mean as a guy I've always grown up watch, watching films you know with uh, Pam Greer mm -hmm. and even going further back Betty Davis Joan Crawford mm -hmm. you know I've always said I tell my wife this strong women in film are a hell of a lot sexier, in my opinion, than the, you know, airheaded blonde bimbo. I mean, the airheaded blonde bimbos, they have their merit, but so strong women that stand up for what they believe in and look damn sexy while they do it, those are the female characters I want to see more of, and that's what Steel Hearts has to offer. You are so busy. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Well, Absolutely. Thank you. It's been an absolute Thank you. Pleasure. Do you have any words, maybe of advice to your horror fans or aspiring horror actors or filmmakers, maybe, that you might want to share with us? You know, uh, to the horror fans, you know, I say, A, I can't express how much I really, really appreciate the support for the films that I've done. 
for the horror films across the board that you guys support. You enable us to keep doing what we do, and God bless you for that. Uh, for the aspiring actors, study, train, know that acting is a profession. Yes. You know, know that when you step on the set, there are techniques and things that you need to, to learn, yes. know and understand, so that when you show up, you're prepared. Absolutely. And you give that performance that you can be proud of. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's it. You know, I, I, I say that indie is no reason to think that anybody can quote unquote half ass anything. We have to take what we do in independent films as seriously as if we were performing in an A list film. I agree. Okay? Because the fans deserve no less than that. I yeah. Totally agree. Well, you are extraordinary. Thank you so much for your time today. I wish you all the success in the world that you could possibly have. Well, I've got to say, Victoria, it's been a pleasure meeting you. You as well being an, uh, an actress, uh, I wish you all the success. And I got a good feeling in talking to you, meeting you here today, that you're going to be working in some Texas horror films pretty soon, you know? Yee-haw! That's all yeah. I can say. All right. I'm Victoria DeMar for BMovieMan.com.